the sunlight's out today. It makes it look nice with the snow and all, but the ground is really icy. You gotta walk like a penguin in many ways. And what did I read today? It seems like everything dealt with spying in some ways. How about this first one? Here it says, drone used by farmers could be spying. Security threat. Chinese companies are obligated by law to help Beijing in its national intelligence efforts. Making commercial drones a potential risk, source said. This has been a common allegation popping up across the world. And it says here, China-made commercial drones might contain backdoors and malware that transmit flight and video data to the government in China, an official said yesterday. Speaking on condition of anonymity, the senior official said that Chinese drones, widely used by farmers for crop dusting, pose a significant cybersecurity threat to users and the government. Beijing has unrestricted access to private user data held by Chinese corporations, which are obligated to cooperate with the country's national intelligence efforts under China's national intelligence law, the official said. And what are they doing about it? It says, in Taipei, government agencies have taken steps to remove Chinese manufactured devices and software from official use as President Tsai Ing-wen has made cybersecurity a priority in her national security policy, the source said. Security protocols were tightened to no longer allow middle and high-ranking officials to use Chinese-made electronics for work or personal use, they said. Kind of sounds similar to what they did in the US, banning government use in terms of any drones, like say a DJI one that is Chinese made. And they go on to say the officials spoke on the matter following a statement by the National Communications Commission on Thursday that said Xiaomi Corp's Mi 10T 5G smartphones have built-in censorship capabilities and can transmit user data to servers in Beijing. It claims they did actual research on it too. It says the commission said that its telecommunications technology center in October last year tested a model sold in Taiwan after the Lithuanian National Cybersecurity Center on September 21st last year discovered the device's censorship capabilities. I don't think I've yet seen a story or an example where they showed 100%. For example, where let's say they flew this drone and there you go, look at it real time, it's sending data back or someone's taking it in China or whatever. But I guess what is true is technically the government there does have the ability to say, hey you, give me all this information and they have to say yes sir, that's just the way it is. Although with that in mind, is anything ever safe tech-wise? Because recently Apple released this product called the Apple AirTags and essentially it's a little tracking device that you could put in various places I guess to find lost items. So it's supposed to be really convenient. Apparently it's fairly inexpensive too at about what, $39 or so? And when you attach this to whatever it may be, it can tell you if you're getting close. Like here it says what, cold, warm, warm or hot. If your AirTag is nearby, your iPhone can lead you straight to it with precision finding. Now with that, apparently people have been using it in a bad way. For example, like this one here says, model Brooks Natter among women who say Apple AirTags are used to stalk them. Scariest moment. As women warn how Apple AirTags intended to help people keep track of items they might easily lose can be used to stalk people. Apple is outlining what you can do to stay safe. So as it was claimed here, it says in a series of Instagram stories on Thursday, Sports Illustrated swimsuit model Brooks Natter claimed that an Apple AirTag, a button-sized wireless device that can be paired with Apple's Find My App feature, was slipped into her belongings in New York City this week. While she was walking home alone after a night out, she got a notification that somebody was tracking her location and had been for a while, she said. I was at a bar in Tribeca, Natter 25 explained on Instagram. I was at the bar and waiting on someone alone and had my coat on the chair behind me. It was crowded. Lots of people. Then I went to meet some girlfriends at a bar nearby. I didn't get any notifications. Then I went to the next stop. No notifications. Then stupidly, I was walking home alone because I live in the neighborhood. Around 11.30 p.m. I was already on my walk home when I got the notifications that said someone is tracking you and has been for a while, she continued. So I freaked out. So I guess like there, if it's small and affordable, I guess a lot of people will use it in good and bad ways. Again, can you actually be 100% protected in every single way?
won't be exactly what I wanted to do in terms of things like a time lapse, but I just wanted to test something out. Hey, see you guys later.